Did you know that there was a gas leakage in Mexico in July 2021? This is a system pipeline leakage at Petróleos Mexicanos, otherwise known as Paymax. It happened in Cumalupsa, as deep as 100 meters in the sea. Paymax is like a Petronas. Now, let me go to the structure of the sea, which is divided into shallow water and deep water region. In Earth's crust, there is crude oil and natural gas from the result of years of organic living sediment. At shallow water region, they install a pipeline system close to the onshore. They drill, extract it, transport and store directly through the pipeline in a ship named Floating Production Storage and Offloading FPSO. They send workers to get into the sea and install the pipeline. This is one of the hardcore work in the world. As time passes by, daily maintenance is required because on the seabed, the pressure is too high and water temperature is more than 4 degrees Celsius and more dense. The pipeline is easy to get rust and this is one of the factors of the leakage. Natural gas is easy to leak because it is low molecular weight compounds. Methane and ethane is one of the components in the natural gas. Under the sea, the pressure is high. When a leak occurs, friction is also occur. Friction will produce heat and the heat will produce fire. Once it starts the fire, it will produce chain reaction and the fire is so big and the fire is unstoppable. Can fire burn in water? The answer is no. But natural gas will rise to the surface of the sea because it is gas so it is less dense. The heat from under the sea will radiate or admit the oil on the surface of the sea and ignite fire. That's how fire occurs on the surface of the sea. The fire cannot be extinguished using water because it is combustion caused by crude oil. Oil based fire or class B fire can only be extinguished using liquid nitrogen. Liquid nitrogen is one of the commonly used cryogenic liquids in research lab. It is an extremely cold material. It is liquefied under high pressure condition and can expand to a very large volume of gas. Cryogenic liquid has a very low freezing point of approximately negative 210 degrees Celsius. It can freeze almost all materials. Even then, it took almost 5 hours to freeze the fire below the ignition point of methane. However, there is another factor that can cause the leakage, such as earth tectonic shift and tidal wave.